This video explains how to convert an hours, minutes and seconds object to seconds only using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data object that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object called myHMS is appearing. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code. And then you can see that our data object contains four elements. These elements are currently formatted as character strings and you can see each of these character strings contains an hour component, a minute component and a seconds component. So for instance, the first element contains 10 minutes and 25 seconds. Now let's also check the class of our current data object because this will be important for the later process. And we can do that using the class function as you can see in line 8 of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that currently our data object has the character class. Now, if we want to convert this data object into seconds, then we can use the functions of the lubridate package. And for this, we first need to install and load the package as you can see in lines 10 and 11 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 11 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the HMS function of the lubridate package. And we can apply this function to our data object myHMS that we have created before. In this case, I'm also storing the output of the HMS function in a new data object that I'm calling myHMS lubri. So after running line 13 of the code, this new data object is appearing at the top right and we can print it to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 14 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have converted our character string into a new data object that contains the minutes and seconds that correspond to our input character strings. Now we can also check the class of this new data object using the class function as you can see in line 16 of the code. And then you can see that currently our data object has the period class which is provided by the lubridate package. Now based on this data object we can convert the data to seconds only. And we can do that by using the period to seconds function, which is also provided by the lubridate package. And within this function, we need to specify the data object myHMS lubri that we have created in line 13 of the code. And then I'm also storing the output of this in another data object that I'm calling mySeconds. So after running line 18 of the code, this new data object called mySeconds is appearing at the top right. We can also print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 19 of the code. And then you can see that this new data object contains four different numbers. And these numbers are the seconds that correspond to our input hours, minutes and seconds. Now we can also check the class of this final data object using the class function once again. And then you can see that our final data object has the numeric class. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.